All right, guys. Hello to the introduction to my class sim. And um, in this sim, uh, in this sim course, I'm just going to run you through how I set up one shot. So uh, Christopher Anderson did an animation course that some of you guys have been uh, cool enough to get uh, your hands on. And uh, now you get the chance to simulate that shot. If you've done the biped rigging course um, for either the biped course or the biped with facial course, so that includes this guy as well, uh, you will uh, already be familiar with the character. But if you're not, you'll get the character together with this course. Uh, what we're doing is we're going to... He's originally just model, uh, rigged uh, being naked, but uh, in this one we actually modeled him some clothes and we're going to um, try and simulate his uh, coat for uh, the specific shot that uh, Christopher was um, was animating. So uh, we're going to go through how we set up uh, or add the cloth to our character. So it's basically if you're an animator who wants to do um, cloth on your character, you can sort of follow this along. So not only will you learn about just cloth sim, also how to add it back into your rig. Um, should work for most rigs, but I suggest that you try out with this character, which you receive as well, uh, together with the animation course, uh, together with the simulation course. So I'm talking a lot about how we do specific, uh, just basic settings, and then how we can sort of set up um, set up uh, patches on our character to f um, to give guides to our cloth. Um, and how we kind of connect it, how we should think about the shoulders. Also, I'm talking about how you should always have a test scene open with this ball that you can see in the background. I know I'm speeding through very fast, but it's basically showing you how the different kind of settings are working and correlating to each other. Um, so it's not, it's not so much, you can't teach all everything about um, a simulation in a three hour course, but I can give you a, a hands on idea of how you should get your priorities straight when you're simulating and how you should approach it because that's sort of like how i would go on about it you know the best way to learn something is just to you know get started don't try and do everything on a ball even though i example with a ball i try to use it immediately on a scene so i can see the result and feel the result and then at the end i uh, once i have the right class sims that i want or simulation um, settings that i want i get the right movement uh, and i learned the workflow i'm gonna go back into um setting it up uh for the actual uh, cloth and then we uh, shot sculpt uh, the final frames uh, and we get different results you get 15 lectures three hours and you get all the work in progress files and uh, you get the free rig uh, along along with the course so i hope to see you in there bye